Foods to avoid or limit if you have bad kidneys. Our kidneys are organs that play several important roles in your health. They filter blood, remove waste products, produce hormones, keep bones strong, regulate fluid balance, it helps regulate blood pressure. Unfortunately, the kidneys can become damaged and become less efficient over time. This is commonly known as kidney disease and affects approximately 10% of adults globally. There are many risk factors for kidney disease. The most common are uncontrolled diabetes and high blood pressure. Alcoholism, heart disease, hepatitis C and HIV are also causes of kidney disease. When the kidneys become damaged and are unable to function properly, fluid can build up in the body and waste products can accumulate in the blood. However, avoiding or limiting certain foods in the diet can reduce the accumulation of waste products in the blood, improve kidney function, and prevent further damage. Here are 7 foods that you should likely avoid on a renal diet. Number 1. Avocado. Avocados are often touted for their many nutritious qualities, including their heart-healthy fats, fiber, and antioxidants. Avocados are usually added to a healthy diet, but people with kidney disease may need to avoid them. This is because avocados are a very rich source of potassium. An average-sized avocado contains as much as 690 mg of potassium. By reducing the portion size to one-fourth of an avocado, people with kidney disease can still include this food in their diets while also limiting potassium, if needed. Avocados, including guacamole, should be restricted or avoided on a renal diet if you have been told to watch your potassium intake. However, remember that different individuals have different needs, and your overall diet and health goals are the most important thing to consider. Processed Meats Processed meats have long been associated with chronic diseases and are generally considered unhealthy due to their preservative contents. Processed meats are meats that have been cured, dried, salted, or canned. Some examples include hot dogs, bacon, pepperoni, jerky, and sausage. Processed meats typically contain large amounts of salt, mostly to improve their taste and preserve flavor. Therefore, if your diet is rich in processed meats, it can be difficult to keep your sodium intake below 2,300 mg per day. Processed meats are also high in protein. If you've been told to monitor your protein intake, it's also important to limit processed meats for this reason. Potatoes and Sweet Potatoes Potatoes and sweet potatoes are vegetables rich in potassium. A medium-sized baked potato contains 610 mg of potassium, whereas one average-sized baked sweet potato contains 541 mg of potassium. Luckily, potassium-rich foods such as potatoes and sweet potatoes can be soaked or leached to reduce their potassium content. You can reduce the potassium content of potatoes by about 50% by cutting them into small thin slices and boiling them for 10 minutes or longer. Potatoes that have been soaked in water for at least 4 hours before cooking have been shown to have even lower potassium levels than those that have not been soaked before cooking. This process is known as the potassium leaching or double cook process. Double cooking potatoes will lower potassium levels, but it's important to remember that this method doesn't eliminate potassium content. A significant amount of potassium can still be present in double boiled potatoes, so portion control is the best way to control potassium levels. Fourth, dark colored soda. In addition to the calories and sugar that soda provides, it also contains phosphorus containing additives, especially dark soda. Many food and beverage manufacturers add phosphorus during processing to enhance flavor, extend shelf life, and prevent discoloration. Your body absorbs this added phosphorus to a greater extent than natural, animal based, or plant based phosphorus. Unlike natural phosphorus, the additive form of phosphorus is not bound to proteins. Rather, it's found in the form of salt and highly absorbable by the intestinal tract. The additive phosphorus is usually found on the ingredient list of the product. However, food manufacturers are not required to list the exact amount of added phosphorus on food labels. According to the United States Department of Agriculture USDA, food database, 12 ounces of soda contains 33.5 milligrams of phosphorus. As a result, 
sodas, especially those that are dark, should be avoided on a renal diet. Canned foods. Canned foods such as soups, vegetables and beans are often purchased because they are cheap and convenient. However, most canned foods contain high levels of sodium because salt is added as a preservative to extend shelf life. Because canned foods are high in sodium, people with kidney disease are often advised to avoid or limit their intake. It's usually best to choose a reduced salt variety or a variety labeled unsalted. Additionally, draining and rinsing canned foods such as beans and canned tuna can reduce sodium levels by 33 until 80 percent, depending on the product. Tomatoes Tomatoes are another high-potassium fruit that may not meet kidney diet guidelines. It can be served raw or steamed and is often used to make sauces. Just one cup of tomato sauce contains over 900 mg of potassium. Unfortunately, for those on a kidney diet, tomatoes are commonly used in many dishes. Choosing an alternative with a lower potassium content is highly dependent on your preferences. However, swapping out the tomato sauce for roasted pepper sauce is just as delicious and provides less potassium per serving. Pretzels, Chips, and Crackers Ready-to-eat snack foods like pretzels, chips, and crackers tend to be lacking in nutrients and relatively high in salt. Also, eating more than the recommended servings of these foods often leads to more salt intake than intended. Additionally, when chips are made from potatoes, they contain significant amounts of potassium. Finally, you should also be mindful of your fluid intake if you have bad kidneys. Consuming too much fluid can put a strain on your kidneys and cause swelling, high blood pressure, and other complications. It's recommended that you limit your fluid intake to about 1.5 to 2 liters per day. In conclusion, if you have bad kidneys, it's important to be mindful of what you eat. Avoid or limit high sodium foods, high potassium foods, high phosphorus foods, and foods high in protein. Also, be mindful of your fluid intake and aim to stay within the recommended daily limit. By making these changes to your diet, you can help protect your kidneys and improve your overall health. Thank you for watching, and we wish you all the best on your kidney health journey.